Taal Lake at 66,000 hectares. This is the third largest lake in the Philippines. Here is where you will find the only freshwater species of sardines in the world, Sardinella tawilis. How did sardines, normally found in salt water, end up thriving and evolving here in the landlocked fresh waters of Taal Lake? The beauty of Taal Lake has captivated the world. But its serene appearance belies a history so catastrophic, it changed the province's landscape forever. Taal Lake fills a large volcanic crater, or a caldera, formed by several massive eruptions. Calderas are some of the most awe-inspiring geographical features on Earth. Uh, we're looking at the present uh, configuration ng caldera ng Taal. This is what we see. But mm. way, way before that, there was no Taal yet. No? Mm. So we have to look at what is currently the state before, before the uh, big calderas was formed to understand what is the present uh, situation. Mm. So the more prominent um, volcanoes at that time was Mount Makulot, which we call ah. Mount Sungai. And uh, Mount Makulot and yung Mount Sungai and then yung Mount Batulao na area. Hmm. And then this later was, uh, became too magmatic and this formed this uh, series of volcanic eruptions that hmm. later created this very large uh, depression. No? So made must depress on the south, must may tectonic uplift on the okay. uh, tectonic uplift on the northern side. And then, um, of course, meron yung uh, fault natin, which is the valley fault, na eventually formed yung uh, features na to. Mm. So it's very important to understand that what we currently have is a series of cataclysmic ano, volcanic eruptions okay. na eventually nag-converge into the middle part. A caldera is usually formed after a powerful volcanic eruption empties the magma chamber beneath the volcano. Because it lacks support, the empty chamber collapses into itself, creating a huge crater. In time, this crater is filled with water, much like a basin or a caldera. In the case of Taal Lake, the collapse must have been triggered by a series of catastrophic eruptions of Taal Volcano that occurred between 500,000 to 7,000 years ago. Taal Volcano is a complex volcano considered to be the second most active in the Philippines. Its 33 recorded eruptions were centered around Volcano Island in the middle of Taal Lake. We are here at the Volcano Island of Taal. This land on which we are standing was once part of, within, beneath, an ancient supervolcano that stood hundreds of thousands of years ago. That supervolcano is no longer here. Above me now is only sky because huge eruptions blew off the top, leaving this huge caldera around us, defined by Batangas, Cavite, and Laguna, and leaving a caldera within which is now contained Taal Lake, and this island volcano on which we stand. Taal Lake was once an inlet of Balayan Bay. It is said that marine animals used to swim in and out of the lake through Pansipit River, which was its sole connection to the sea. Over the years, the channel kept getting narrower and narrower due to sedimentation. Finally, in the early 18th century, a series of powerful eruptions shook the surrounding towns. The volcanic activities culminated in 1754, 
as the lakeside towns witnessed the Al Volcano's most powerful and devastating eruption, causing the waters to rise, inundating several lakeside towns, and eventually closing off Pansipit River. Several species of saltwater marine animals were then trapped in the lake. One of them was the Hydrophis semperi, which is one of only two species of freshwater sea snakes in the world. And of course, Sardinella tawilis. Over the next millennia, these marine creatures evolved and adapted to the lake water's desalination. Today, Taal Lake is the center of a multi-million peso fishing industry. And the resilient Tawilis remains to be its most prized catch. And Indonesia's Lake Toba. Experts say that between 1 million and 29,000 years ago, Two major volcanic eruptions took place here between Mount Sembrano and Talim Island. These two events, combined with tectonic uplift, created what is now known as the Laguna Caldera. The transition from marine to freshwater environment were recorded in the sediments found around the lake. According to experts, remnants of the lake's volcanic history are revealed by the presence of a series of Mars, or low-relief volcanic craters, around the area of Tadlac Lake and Mayundun Hill in Los Baños and at the southern end of Talim Island. A total of 45,000 square kilometers of catchment areas and 21 major tributaries can be found around the lake. Today, it has become one of the primary sources of freshwater fish in the country, supplying 200,000 metric tons of bangus and tilapia to Luzon and parts of the Visayas each year. But aside from being the main source of livelihood for Laguna fisherfolk, the lake is so huge that it serves as the perfect temporary reservoir to control flooding in Manila. But lakes are not formed by volcanic activities alone. Some are formed with the help of massive landslides and fluvial activities. <laughs> 